The identity of celebrity number six may have been found. In fact, the person believed by May to be the person in the fabric has actually stated that this is in fact her. But it's never that easy, is it? Of course, there's still some debate over whether or not this is true. I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw it, I was like, that 100% has to be her. But the more I read people's various arguments against it, I'm not 100% certain anymore. I'm probably like 90% certain, but not 100%. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about right now, I recommend you watch my original videos on this topic. But if you don't feel like watching them, here's a summary. In 2020, a Redditor named Tansa shared this fabric they owned containing pop art style images of various celebrities. Redditors were able to identify all the celebrities that Tansa couldn't, except for one. Celebrity number six. Due to the other people in the image, including cast members of Lost, and the dates of several images used of the other celebrities, it was determined that the origin of the unknown person was most likely a photo from the mid-2000s. Whoever this mystery person was likely was popular at that time. There were a lot of different people suggested to be the person, but no photos could ever be found that quite lined up with this image. And with suggestions ranging from River Phoenix to Olivia Wilde, people couldn't even narrow down a gender for this person. That brings us to now. But before we look at the new info, I just want to shout out my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. When you have to hire a lawyer, it can be a pretty daunting process. There's definitely been a few times where I wanted to hire a lawyer for something, but then it seemed like it was going to be too much work and it didn't seem worth it, so I just kind of let it slide. But if the process was faster and easier, maybe I would have done something. That's where Morgan & Morgan comes in. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with over 100 offices and 800 lawyers nationwide. With over $15 billion recovered for clients, Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fight and get you full and fair compensation. And it's so easy. Submitting a claim to Morgan & Morgan is more like ordering food than hiring a lawyer. So if you're ever injured in an accident, check out Morgan & Morgan. It's so easy, you can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less, without having to leave your couch. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash wang, or dial pound law, that's pound 529 from your cell phone. This is a paid advertisement. The current leading theory on celebrity number six begins with a series of posts in February by a Redditor named Paint Her. On the 19th, she posts a thread. I'll be surprised if celebrity number six has it modeled for Ralph Lauren. And in the thread, she shares an album of Ralph Lauren models from this time period who all share a certain kind of facial aesthetic that does line up with celebrity number six. Whoever was hiring these models for Ralph Lauren definitely had a type. But an hour later, Paint Her posts a thread focusing on one of these models in particular, Philippa Hamilton. And although this clearly isn't the same photo, facially she lines up really well. And the similarity is even more apparent in a photo from Marie Claire magazine found by Olshu. And about an hour after that, Lola Girl Forever would post an image from Glamour magazine that would become the focus of much of the debate. She really came that way would post an overlay gif the next day that showed that the ear and jawline matched up really, really closely. And then, the same user made an overlay that convinced a large faction that, yeah, this is 100% it. And this actually wasn't the first time that Philippa Hamilton had come up as a suggestion. About two years prior, Register Standard had created a thread about Philippa Hamilton, and Space Pi 8 found that same Marie Claire cover. But back then, the theory didn't get that much traction. And then with all this going on, Philippa Hamilton herself responds to it. Reddit user Looking just tagged her in a story on Instagram asking, is this you? She responds yes, not knowing that this was the subject of a long-running mystery. And she later posts a comparison pic to her story. So with this, a good chunk of people are convinced that, yeah, we've finally found the person. But there is still some doubt. One commenter, Ping, questioned whether a person is uniquely qualified to identify themselves in an illustration. Which, it sounds like a ridiculous thought at first. But then I thought of just how a couple days ago, someone tagged me in this video. And I had to do a double take because, facially, the guy looked so much like me. I was like, wait, I don't remember doing this. And then finally, after staring at it long enough, my brain made sense of this being a different guy. And I was like, oh yeah, it's, it's not me. And now consider with this image, this is a person who's been photographed professionally for her entire adult life. With this image in particular being from close to 20 years ago. And it's been heavily edited. So there definitely is some room for error there, especially if a person has a similar look. We saw how a few users made very convincing overlays with the glamour cover, but as demonstrated with a gif made by She Really Came That Way, there's a few edits that need to be made that are more substantial than any of the other edits that we see on the fabric. 
and Hugh Wattmate9001 used some other celebrities to demonstrate that overlays can be a bit misleading. And then there's also the matter of the clothes. The rendering of Celebrity Number 6 has that whole shirt situation where people aren't sure if it's layered collars or she's wearing a lanyard or what. The glamour cover that most people have been focusing on has clothes that are entirely different from what we see in the illustration. However, the Marie Claire cover has clothes that, while not exactly matching what's seen in the fabric, come very close. Including small details like how the vest is folded open, the button, and what could be the layering of the collar. But it's not an exact match. In fact, it seems like some elements match up better than others depending on if you flip the image. And if this were the source image, it would have to be edited more substantially once again than any other celebrity in the fabric. Some have theorized that maybe they mixed and matched the Glamour cover and the Marie Claire cover, but once again, there seems like more work than this artist was inclined to do with this piece. In my opinion, the most likely scenario is that there's probably another photo that exists from the Marie Claire shoot, where she's wearing the same clothes but they're just positioned slightly differently, and her hair would have to come a little bit more over the collars. I was able to find one other photo that appears to be from the same shoot. In this one, her hair is all the way down, lower than what would match the Celebrity Number 6 image. She's also styled a bit differently, wearing the same vest, same jeans, and what could be the same shirt that we see the collar of, but the sleeves are different, and the suspenders are gone. And it should be noted that the sleeves in the Marie Claire cover photo more closely resemble what we see in the illustration. But this photo is proof that more pictures exist from this shoot, and she was styled a variety of ways in it, so there could be something that's more close to the image. And I'm like really, really sure the vest she's wearing in these photos is what we're seeing in that illustration. So I noticed in the second picture, there's a watermark, jedroot.com. The site doesn't work anymore, but it has been archived. And when we look at the archive, we can see that it was a fashion photography, stylist, makeup, etc. agency. So I start going through the photographers, and I find that the cover was done by a photographer named Renio Maifredi. The cover can be seen in his women's fashion section. And you can click the thumbnails to see the full story, except none of the other images have been archived. Now, with this info in mind, please do not bombard the photographer with messages. I already sent him an email to see if he knows anything about it or if he can help at all. And interestingly, this isn't the first time that Renio came up in this mystery. A while ago, a lot of people were convinced that celebrity number six was a model named Jane Windsor, based on a photo taken of her by Renio Maifredi. Jane actually responded, saying that she doesn't think the picture is of her. But some commenters noted that a lot of Renio's shoots seem to have models styled in a similar fashion that would line up with Celebrity No. 6. At the time, people looked through his portfolio trying to find it. There weren't any results at the time, but maybe they were closer than they realized. Of course, nothing is 100% until we can find the exact photo that matches up here. But right now, Flippa Hamilton is the most convinced I've been that we found the person. But once again, nothing can be verified without the exact photo. I don't suppose any of you have a copy of Italian Marie Claire from January of 2003 laying around, do you? Anyway, that's all for now. While you're here, check out my band's new music video, Animated by Scumbagovich. I'm out.